Good evening, everyone. Hello, Good there. Evening. Hello, Good hello, 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 Good Andrena. Evening. Hello, Adrena. Hello, Miguel. Hey, Carla. Hello, Carla. Hello, Eliana. And let's see, only five people. Uh, what I need is eight o'clock or three minutes after eight. Okay. I'm sorry, but I was with another group. And well, actually, it says we are on time, right? So, good evening, Claudia. Miguel, I don't see you. Let, do it a favor to activate cameras. Okay, thank you, Carla. Uh, Claudia, sorry. And Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Hi. Uh, Miguel, activate your camera. Glendy, hello. Okay, wait, teacher, hold on. All right. Remember to do so every single time we get into the class. And hello, Adriana. Hello. Okay, hope you're doing uh, good tonight, having a great time, and I hope that you are willing to continue learning something over here. Well, meanwhile, the rest of the people gather, uh, we're going to talk a little about what happened yesterday. Okay, so in, in order to do so, I will ask, uh, Claudia, uh, do you remember what happened yesterday night? And during the class, what did you learn? Um, wh which were the activities we developed in the class? Or something that you want to share about what, what, um, about the activities we, we had yesterday night? Good evening. Good evening. Um, me cuesta hablar el inglés. No uh, okay. okay. You, you don't remember sí. anything about yesterday's class? Maybe yeah. that we, we had a homework that the teacher said something. I don't know. Or maybe somebody uh, shared um, something in the class that you remember. I don't know. The countable and not countable. Ah, very good. There is somebody helping you, Claudia. We were talking about countable nouns and non countable nouns. Good. Quantifiers. We were also talking about quantifiers. Uh huh. What else do you remember? Very good. Hey, you have good friends, Claudia. Are, <laughs> uh, adjective uh, a lot, a little, a few. Much, any, no. Excellent, pretty good. I think everybody is like remembering what happened yesterday. And I think yesterday I told you about a humble, right? Was, was the humble easy or difficult? A little difficult. Easy. 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 For, for you it was uh, very easy, right? And for Mayra, Mayra, it's uh, kind of difficult. For me, it's uh, difficult hearing. Uh, it was difficult for you to listen to. Listen okay. To. Yeah. And what was the activity all about, Eliana? Uh, we have to watch the video. Uh, no, we have to uh, choose a neighborhood about a video we saw yesterday and investigate more information about it and talk about it. Or you have a, another option, right? If you didn't want, or if you didn't have the enough time to investigate about, uh, more about the neighborhood, you you had the opportunity to take the information the way you saw and you listened to in the video, right? Okay, both uh, both uh, ways help me a lot over here and help you a lot in order to learn. Okay, so we're going to start uh, talking about humble assignments, okay? And we're going to start with a volunteer. Ah, Francisco, you said it was quite easy, right? So, Francisco, let's start with you. Uh, um, okay, no, no easy for me to really pay because um, I investigated for one city. It, uh, um, in, uh, the name is uh, Altaro. Um, Altaro is um, the Florencia City. 
Italia. Eh, uh, Investiere this what a uh, one city the fam very famous how like a uh, uh, Roma we city received 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 uh, approximately ten million the tourists for years. Um, you can eat in the best pizza of Italia. Uh, the more famous, there are more famous place is a uh, Museo Pitti, was uh, the house of the family, family, family uh, middle uh, where the they people governed the Italia for many years. And the other place uh, famous in this this country, this uh, city is a uh, Plaza Michelangelo uh, uh, in Italian. <laughs> in English, it's uh, uh, Plaza. I don't remember how it's said Plaza uh, in English. Uh, Plaza Michelangelo. Um, only that's. I don't... Okay, Francisco. Thank you very much. Okay, let me see. Thank you very much, Francisco. Thanks for doing your best You're effort. Welcome. That's what I'm looking for, eh? you know. Um, well, uh, as I told you the yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, what I'm, what I'm, uh, what I'm asking you to do is like to go and investigate, but not only investigate information, but also the pronunciation of the words, the meaning of the words, so that you, when you come to the class, that you you are more than ready, right? And that's what uh, I mean. One of my objectives when I assign something to to do uh, to do it by your own is because I'm I'm trying to to help you in a sense that you you will go and get what you want. Okay, you know, internet you have a lot of people. You will get a lot of new words. You will get a lot of new vocabulary, a new pronunciation, and that's the, the purpose, okay? Uh, Francisco, choose another person, please. Uh, okay, um, the next person, um, Jonathan. Jonathan, it's your opportunity, buddy. Hello. Hello. Can I share my screen? Sure, you can. Okay, good evening. I talking about uh, Cuba. Uh, Cuba is a beautiful place where people like to sing and like to dance. They have a beautiful place like uh, La Habana. Mainly, uh, you can see all cars or talking uh, vintage cars. The city is uh, colorful and have uh, beautiful uh, beaches and friendly persons. Only that. Okay, Cuba, right? Friendly people, warm people. Okay, thank you very much. That was quite good. Okay, Jonathan, uh, choose somebody else, please, from the group. Okay. One minute. Um. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, who's next? Jonathan. Uh, Adriana Gonzalez. Okay, Adriana. 
Adriana González. Hi, good evening. And I am talking about the New York City. And as far as I know, the city that never sleep, sleeps. And New York, there are many impersonal buildings and many yellow taxis, you know. And, and also, this is knowing for fashion, art, and entertainment. Um, on the other hand, when it comes to strip, there are very noises um, because they are a, a lot of traffic. On top of that, the street very similar. That that's why you you will uh, lose very easy. And and almost uh, the neighborhood there are many restaurants. Uh, for example, uh, China food, Italy and Japanese food and bars. And as far as I see. In Manhattan, there is a big uh, bridge that uh, where you can go to walk with your family only. Now choose somebody else, okay? And I think that would be the last person to participate in this activity because we are going to have some other activities. And Andrea. Andrea, okay, it's your turn. Adriana, can, can, can you please choose somebody else? David. David, okay, David. We are all ears, David. Give me one second, please. All right. Is David over here yet? Something happened to David? Yeah, it seems as if he is not over here anymore, right? Let me see, David. Well, you know, he's going to be given the opportunity, but later. Okay, so people, well, you know, at the end, if we still have some time and you want to share what you got, uh, well, you will have your opportunity. We're going to continue, okay? And you know, yesterday, as uh, somebody uh, said in the class, we were just like um, sharing some info about there is, there are um, one, any, or some, right? So this is something that we studied, okay? We were also talking about how safe is our neighborhood? And we also talked about quantifiers. And this was just the last part uh, of, of our course, okay? So over here, um, we, I will play this video, okay? So, but listen, this, the activity will be the following. How long is this video? This video is like, let me see, it's like, There is no more than, let me see. I will check the, about the time. It is like one minute and 32 seconds. Okay? One minute and 32 seconds. So what are we going to do, people? Well, I will give you five minutes. Okay? Now, can you listen to me? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you are gonna play the role of a teacher tonight. Okay. Do me the favor to go to the platform and see the video. Because I will play the video with no sound. So what does it mean? That there will be people in the group explaining what's in the video. Okay? Do you get okay. it? I got it. Okay. So how much time do you have now? Five minutes. Five minutes. To do what, Ileana? Uh, to to um, watch the video that we have in the platform and explain to you what we understood about it. Exactly. I will play the video, okay? And then I will ask some of you to provide information, okay? Uh, about what you, what you got. I mean, yesterday we started that. We went over it and we saw some exercises. Now, tonight we're going to go over it once again, but in this time you are you are going to be the ones who are going to explain the video. All right? All right? Okay. Okay, let yes, us try. Please. Let us try. You you have your 5 minutes from now on. Tienen sus 5 minutos a partir de este momento. Luego Vamos a ver, vamos a, vamos a ver el video, pero sin sonido. Y yo voy a ir pidiéndole a algunos de ustedes que nos explique qué es lo que hay ahí. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. You have five minutes for now. Five. Remember, it's going to be a kind of a review. Five minutes. Get concentrated and try to remember as much info as possible about the video.
Okay, three minutes more. Then we will start. Okay, less than a minute. Okay, I think it's enough. Well, I will play, as I told you uh, before, I will play the, the video, okay? But we don't, we don't want to have any audio, right? So we don't want it. Okay, and actually it is a very short video, okay? It's like one minute and, one, and, and 33 seconds, okay? But over here we can find a lot of info. And let me see. Who wants to play the role of a teacher tonight? Who wants to explain what we have in the chart? Mm, one, one part me. Oh, okay, Francisco. Hey, Francisco, when you finish, then you choose another person, okay? Excuse me? When you finish, uh, then... Uh, uh, ask somebody else to continue. Ah, okay. We are going to have three participants to to let us know about what we what what can we get from from this part of the of the class. Okay. Okay. Now. Yeah. Now. Uh, okay. Um. Everybody, tonight we are talking about about quantifier quantifiers, how many and how much. Uh, we had uh, two uh, types, uh, the counts now and no counts now. Uh, the counts now are, are the old, uh, we are can, we can uh, count e, uh, how, 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 how uh, uh, we need restaurant, Etc. Um, come now. Uh, the the mode for a question is: uh, Are there many restaurants? And no come now. The question is: Is there? Is there? Is the different? Uh, and come now. Are there? And no come now. Is is there? Um, and, Example in in the answer is you we uh, can I use a, a lot of a few many any or now and no counts we uh, can 
you see our for as well a lot of, a little, much, any, or now. Okay. Hey, Francisco, I think that's enough. Choose somebody else, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, Miguel. Okay, Miguel, let's continue, Miguel, because there's a lot of info. Uh, I mean, we have more information that we can share from this chart. Okay. Uh, I understand in this video that uh, we we use a lot of you, many, any, no, only for uh, cognouns. For example, fruits and vegetables, uh, cars, and a lot of things that we can count. Uh, and a lot, a little, much, any, no, we, we're gonna, gonna use only for neutral nouns. And for example, send, um, mm, I don't know if, stars maybe, and that's it. Ah, well, wait. Also, uh, in uncle nouns, uh, the answer, the questions and answers, we we must use uh, in singular. That's it, teacher. Thank you, uh, Miguel. Right, Miguel. Yeah. Uh, ask somebody else to provide further information, please. Wait. Mm. Hiroki. Hiroki. Okay, Hiroki, it's your turn. What else can you say about this topic? Hiroki, Hiroki, are you there? Hiroki, okay, Hiroki, go ahead. Are you facing any problem, Hiroki? Because we don't listen to you. I think Hiroki is facing problems now. Well, let me see. Let me see. I will choose a person then. I will choose another person. Uh, let me see people who... Okay, Claudia Jocelyn. What else can you tell us about this info? Claudia? Let me see, see the chat. Uh, Hiroki says she is facing some problems with his uh, microphone. Okay, Hiroki, don't worry, we understand. And what about Claudia? Claudia, what else can you say about this topic? Claudia Jocelyn. Well, Claudia seems to be like facing problems also. Now, a volunteer, a volunteer so that we can move on. A volunteer, a volunteer. What else can we, can we say about this part? Only one, not all, not all, not all of you at the same time, please. Only one person. <laughs> No one, no one, actually, don't tell me that. Okay, so, well, we're, we're not going to, um, we're not going to uh, spend more, more time on that, okay? So, actually, what you said is, is exactly what we were discussing yesterday, right? So, but I wanted uh, to have a, a review. Okay, as you can see, we, we can say a lot of things about it. And also we can create some sentence, some other examples, okay? That's what I wanted to, to do, all right? Uh, well, let me see. 
yes, this is this this was what we started talking about yesterday, right? And I remember that we we saw the, an exercise that, that was the, the the knowledge check. Okay, do you remember about this exercise? Yes, I do. Yeah, we yes, did teacher. a great job, right? We did a great job. Okay, and. I think we finished with all of it, okay? And that's why we're going to move on to the next part, okay? Now, what do we have here? We're going to have uh, the opportunity to read an article from a magazine, okay? You are going to develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Okay, in Spanish, now you have what we have here, right? This is going to be the first article because, you know, you are going to read another article for tomorrow, okay? And for tomorrow, you are going to share what you learn from the article, okay? Now, that's, that. I mean, we're missing a lot of time to finish, okay? We're gonna go over the, the activity, but I want you to be clear that for tomorrow, you are going to uh, be in charge of um, looking for an article, an article that, about information you would like to read. Not exactly about what the topic we are discussing over here, but a topic that you would like to know about. Okay, and tomorrow you will present vocabulary, the main idea about the article and what you cut from, from the article itself, okay, for details about the article. Okay, before starting with this, with this activity, I want you to be clear about it. El día de mañana ustedes nos van a compartir información de un artículo que ustedes eh, decidan leer, ¿ok? Eh, nos van a compartir un listado de palabras nuevas, por supuesto, que aprendieron significado y pronunciación. Además de eso, nos van a dar detalles del artículo, de qué trata el artículo, cuál es la idea principal, ¿Y por qué usted eligió leer ese artículo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué de interesante hay en ese artículo? Eso es tarea para mañana, chicos. ¿Ok? Vamos a tratar que todos participen el día de mañana. Mientras, vamos con una actividad ahorita. ¿Ok? Okay, the word is one, a neighborhood. Uh, we will read the article, then we will check the things uh, we can find in Astoria. Let me see if we can, if I can open it in, a, in another part so that we can see it clearly. Now, do you see the, the information clearly? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, so. Yes, we can. So we're going to do something like yes, the activity I want you to develop tomorrow, okay? So what is the name of the topic? What is the topic of the article? The world in the neighborhood. The world in one neighborhood. Okay, then we have scan the article, then check the, the countries that are not mentioned. Okay, so you're going to check the countries that are not mentioned in the article. Okay, this activity is not that difficult. And then we can see that the article is divided in different paragraphs, right? So we have paragraph number one, number two, number three, and I think they are all. Okay, so something we're going to try to do, something uh, similar to what I'm asking you to do for tomorrow. Okay, now... Uh, Please, people, when I ask you to participate, try to do it, no matter if you commit mistakes. That's why you are over here, okay? To, to participate, to do your best over here. 
Uh, Catherine, could you please read the first part? The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling. <laughs> no sé cómo se pronuncia. Okay. ¿Dónde subrayó? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. That's 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 my purpose, okay? Don't worry, okay. just continue. And a woman in the corner is selling Chinese cake. A new song from a Roman Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Uh mm -hmm. digo. No, it's all right. Okay. okay. Okay, now you can see some, oh, give me one second, please. You can see some um, words that I have uh, underlined, right? And don't worry, because that's the purpose for me to, to share um, the way you should, you should study at home. Now, who knows about the, the transition of this word? Sidewalks. Sidewalks. What sidewalks. are sidewalks? Sidewalks. Gradas eléctricas. Ah, okay. So, as you can see, there are some people who know about the meaning of the word, but there are some others who don't. Okay, so one of your work, or one, one of your homework, or one of the activities that I want you to take into consideration when reading the article that you, that you are presenting tomorrow is to notice about the words you don't know. Okay, now if you know the meaning, but you are still guessing about pronunciation, go to Google Translator, type, type the word and get the sound of the word. Okay? Now, how do you pronounce this word? Crowded. 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 Who knows Crowded. the meaning? Geno, Geno, the person. Oh, okay. A lot Little. of people there, right? Little. Crowded. Little What's the pronunciation of this word? Woman. 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 Okay, Woman. now I, I can see that the that we need to go over uh, and check pronunciation Woman. also. Okay, woman. 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 Now, what's the plural for woman? Women. 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 Very good. Okay, so Women. that's what I want you to do uh, for tomorrow. In the in the um, in the article, you choose try to get as much info as possible. When you get the one hundred percent of the article, then you will be done. Okay. Something that I want you to notice is that when you read or when you speak, you need to pronounce the plural form of a word. Okay. Cakes. 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 All right. Cakes. So Cakes. try try to Cakes. pronounce Cakes. it. It's very very important. Cakes. Okay. Cakes. Cakes. Okay, now let me see, let's continue because we have a lot of things to read, a lot of info to read. Okay, uh, is there any other volunteer who want to help me to read this part? India, China, Romania. Okay, um, Miguel. Yeah. I think Miguel wants. Okay. Oh, and also David, okay, so let's let's continue with Miguel. Okay, Michael. Is it India, China, Romania? Not it's Asturia, a neighborhood in Queens, New York, New York City. Asturia was, was once a mostly great neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. All right, pretty good. Now, is there any word that you may have uh, problems with the meaning? Uh, okay, neighborhood, I think everybody knows about the word neighborhood, right? Yeah. yeah. How does sure. your uh, Tell me. I don't remember what is the meaning uh, of greet. Indian greet? Yeah. Once mostly uh, Greek, Greek. Uh, how, do, yeah. how do you say green in Spanish, people? 
Grecia. 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 That's right. So it's a country, right? Thanks. Okay, Greek. Okay, so you see, if you don't know, you can ask anybody. And if anybody uh, doesn't know, so that we can go and use uh, uh, the internet. And if you don't find it out, then you, you can ask me. There is not any problem. Now, who wants to help me with the second part? Ah, David. Okay, David. I think David and after David, Mayra. Okay. The new president bring many traditions. Okay, David, stop, please. The new resident or the new residents? New mm -hmm. residents. All right. Try to make emphasis there, please. The new oh, resident sure. bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make a story truly uh, cultural. Give me one second there, please. What's the meaning of the word blend? Blend together. Blend together. Mescla. Ah, very good. Blend together. Okay, so listen, we are doing this activity so that you can so that you can take into consideration what you will do for tomorrow. Go ahead, please, David. Blend together to make a story truly much cultural, uh, when many people are surrounded by many cultures, they adopt the things that they like, says one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. Good. That was really nice, okay. And let me see. Who who else wanted to to read? I think it was Mayra, right? Yes. It it isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe, and it it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruits and vegetables markets. Okay, stop there, please, for a second. How do you pronounce this word, people? It's popular. becoming a popular. very... Popular. 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 popular place to live. The rents are? Reasonable. Reasonable. And mm -hmm. what about this? Uh, it has very good public, public. public transportation. Public, public transportation. Public. There are inexpensive stores, meaning nice restaurants and good fresh fruit. And how do you say this word? Vegetable. Vegetable. Vegetable, Vegetable markets. Thank you. Mayra, please continue. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy, as one long time resident says. Why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Good, very good. Only one word. Let me know about this, this word. Who knows about how to pronounce this word? Comfortable. Comfortable, Comfortable right? Comfortable. Mm. Comfortable. Okay, so. Try to memorize all the words, right? That you, that you, every single time you're supposed to read some info, then you have the big opportunity to, to grasp a, a, as much information, a, a lot of uh, vocabulary, and et cetera, right? So, wh what are we going to do now? Well, you have the opportunity to check or to solve the activity over here, okay? And uh, for example, was Brazil mentioned in the lecture or in the reading? No, no Brazil. No, no, no. The, the, it, Brazil was not mentioned. China? Yes. Yes. I, India? Yes. 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 Japan? No. 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 Not really? Pakistan? Yes. 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 Uh, Romania? Yes. 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 And Thailand? Germany. Yes. Yes. Okay, so what I think it would be really nice if we, if you choose from this country, okay? Choose, uh, choose one of these countries and get an article about them, okay? 
Elijan un país y busquen un artículo acerca de este país. ¿Ok? Háganlo ahorita. ¿Ok? Empiecen a trabajar en eso. Voy a pasar la lista. Ya se fijaron qué es lo que quiero para el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Ustedes sí. van a presentar un artículo. Traten de que no sea demasiado extenso. ¿Ok? Y pues nos van a enseñar qué es lo que investigaron. Por ejemplo, si yo no sabía qué era Sawax, ¿ok? Investigo qué es e investigo cómo se pronuncia, ¿ok? Crowded o cualquier otra palabra que nos detenga. Miren, la intención es que ustedes aprendan que cada vez que lean un artículo, el objetivo va a ser que, que sepamos qué es lo que dice ese artículo en un 100%. Eso es lo primero. ¿Cómo vamos a lograr eso? Bueno, vamos a ver, cada vez que nos tropecemos con una palabra que no sepamos, eso no, que va a querer decir que, que hay algo que nos está impidiendo obtener el 100% de la lectura. Entonces, lo vamos a trabajar, vamos a buscar la palabra y vamos a buscar cómo se pronuncia y la vamos a memorizar. Eso es para mañana. Ok, entonces, eh, mientras yo paso la lista, busquen por favor un artículo acerca de Brasil. Ustedes van a elegir Brasil, China, India, Japón, Pakistán, Romania o Tailandia. ¿Ok? And that will be for tomorrow. Mañana voy a tratar que todos, todos participen. Pasado mañana eh, vamos a trabajar en el midterm. Vamos a hacer una, un repaso general del, de, del midterm. Recuérdense, hagan las actividades en la plataforma Hagan eh, las actividades eh, que han sido planificadas para las cuatro semanas. Esta semana corresponde el midterm. Ok. So, I will check the list of things. Meanwhile, you look for, for an article. Ahorita tienen la tarea de buscar un artículo y que por lo menos nos digan de qué se va a tratar eh, la cuestión el día de mañana. Ok. Ok. Give me a second. I will check the list of things. Now, go and look for an article, people. That's what I'm asking you to do now. Let me see. Help me with the list of tenants, please. Uh, Adriana? Present. Andrea? Esmeralda. Present. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present. Present. Okay, Frank, Francisco is there, right? Gabriela Guadalupe. Gabriela, are you there? Uh, Glendy Elisett. Eh, Iliana. I'm here. Irving Hiroki. Uh, well, Irving is facing problems with microphone, but I saw him. Jennifer Raquel. Jennifer, are you there? Hey, what's going on with Jennifer? Jennifer Raquel. Uh, Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Josué Miguel. Here. Carla Tatiana. Present. Excellent, Carla. Uh, Catherine Jasmine. Present. Uh, Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerling. Present, teacher. Jancy Jamilet. Jancy, are, are you here? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Now, I didn't see Jennifer Raquel. Si yo me he equivocado, me corrigen, porfa. Eh, Gabriela Guadalupe. Jennifer Raquel. Solo ella dos. Okay. That was really good. Okay, now get, get the article, okay, and try to work in the first part. Traten de trabajar por lo menos en el primer, en el primer párrafo que encuentren.
Okay, we are still missing seven minutes. Okay, you have seven minutes to start working on that. And uh, to let us know at least about uh, about the, the the topic you will you will speak tomorrow. Remember, you you will uh, present vocabulary. Recuerden que van a presentar todas las palabras nuevas que que se aprendieron. Okay. Nos van a contar de qué trata el artículo, las ideas principales. Okay. Y por qué lo eligieron. Qué qué hay de interesante en ese artículo. Can we give you, let's see, like three or four minutes more, then we are going to start, no, like two minutes, so that you can let us know about, about the topic that you, will, that you will talk about tomorrow. Uh, something I want you to keep in mind is that tomorrow you will present the vocabulary, but at the same time you will teach the, voc the vocabulary. Uh, mañana que presenten el, el vocabulario, ok, nos lo van a presentar y por supuesto nos van a enseñar cómo se pronuncia y lo que significa. Okay, let me see if you got something. Uh, Andrea, did you get the, the article? Um, I have the article about Thailand. Thailand, mm. okay. So you are gonna talk about Thailand tomorrow. Yes. Excellent. Very good. What about you, Francisco? Uh, for me, I like an um, article for Brazil, uh, Cultura of Brazil, general. Pretty good. So we're going to know about uh, Brazilian culture tomorrow. That's going to be in church of Francisco uh, Villafuerte, right? So be ready for tomorrow, Francisco. Remember, you will be in charge of presenting the information in the article, but you will also uh, have the opportunity to share what you have learned from it. Vocabulary, main ideas, etc. Uh, Luisa, what's for tomorrow? Uh, China, la vestimenta tradicional. No sé todavía cómo lo voy a decir en inglés. Pretty good. So you have, you, there you have a lot of work to do. And, you know, talking about Chinese culture will be fantastic. Pretty nice, Luisa. What about you, Jonathan? Uh, no, teacher. I have a question. It's only for countries, again. Yeah, I mean, in order to follow the, the this, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it needs to be that way so that we can know about Different different cultures, different countries. Okay, we need to we need to continue uh, following the same uh, topic. It's okay. Okay, Mayra. What about for you? Tomorrow? Yeah, for, for tomorrow, tomorrow or countries today. No, that's for tomorrow. What is the country or what is the the topic that uh, you will speak about? Um, maybe tourism. 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 Oh, okay. So tourism. Maybe, maybe. Okay, but tourism and it needs to be linked to, to a country, right? Yes. You can say like tourism in El Salvador, tourism in in, a, in another country, but uh, uh, okay, it needs to be like that. Uh, Chancy? Uh, Thailand. Thailand. About uh, symbols. Oh, pretty time. good. So be ready for tomorrow. That tomorrow will be a very interesting uh, night. Uh, Catherine, you already said, right? Carla, what about you? 
Uh, I don't talk to any country, but I talk to um, college status. Okay. So be yes. ready for tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. Be ready. And Catherine, I, I don't I don't remember exactly if you said uh, the topic for tomorrow. Um, maybe Mexican culture. Mexican culture. Pretty good. Hey, what about you, David? I am interested in in USA. USA culture, US culture. Okay, so tomorrow be ready and try to do your best. Eliana, what's new for tomorrow? Uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, Japanese culture. Wow, Japanese, that's fantastic. That's, I think you are gonna talk about discipline because they are very disciplined people, right? <laughs> So we, we're going to learn a lot from, from that topic, okay? Very good. Uh, Miguel? Okay. Maybe the Japan's nature. Japan's nature. Okay, thank you. Adriana? And I will... Um, public transportation in Korea. Public transportation in Korea. Okay, that would be interesting. Thank you. Glendy? Maybe nature of Thailand? Nature in Thailand. Pretty good. Claudia? Oh, the Mexican culture. Mexican culture. Okay. Nerling? Mm, uh, Spain. Spain, pretty good, Spain. Spain. So a lot of topics, right? Hiroki, I know that you are facing problems with, with microphone. But tomorrow, we're going to listen to you. We, we hope you, you can solve the problem. And uh, something uh, else I wanted to tell you is that you can work in person if you wish. O otra cosa, antes de cerrar. Eh, Pueden trabajar en pareja si sí, así lo desean. No es obligación, ¿ok? Porque sé que... Ustedes son personas muy ocupadas y que a lo mejor los, los horarios no van a poder ser correspondidos, ¿verdad? Y no quiero que anden este, estresados porque tienen que hacer una, una presentación en pareja, no. Pero si ustedes lo desean y tienen el tiempo y quieren trabajar en pareja, háganlo, siéntanse en la libertad de hacerlo. Y mañana nos presentan un tema en, en pareja, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de que todos participen el día de mañana. Va a haber mucho aprendizaje porque, de hecho, ustedes van a traer mucho aprendizaje a la clase. Todo lo que ustedes aprendan, los demás lo vamos a absorber. Ese es el, ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Yo aprendí que 10 o 15 palabras y esta es la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Entonces, y esto significa. Y ahí vamos a ir absorbiendo mucho vocabulario. ¿Ok? So that's for tomorrow. I wonder if there is any question. No, for me. No. no. Okay, so we're going to no. go directly to the activity tomorrow. I think we're going to spend, I don't know if it's going to be enough the whole hour, right? So, but I want everybody to, to participate tomorrow. Okay? So, okay. be ready with, a, with your notebook or, so I don't know, if you're going to take notes, be ready with a pen, with a pencil, with the erasers, uh, everything that you need for tomorrow. Okay, it would be really nice. See you tomorrow. It's been a pleasure and God bless you. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.